along with a great deal of what you said. It makes an enormous amount of sense. But what I, what I don't understand and what I haven't heard you address is, why do we do it? Why do we objectify nature? Why do we, why do we objectify other people? Why do we create these concrete jungles to protect ourselves from the rest of the world? It's, it's, it's really quite a big question. But uh, the, the answer, it seems to me, has to be. It has to lie in, in, in the fact that the world that, that we are not relating to, or, or the very world of relationship, uh, this biosphere, this breathing biosphere that I am suggesting we need to remember ourselves to become members of, feel ourselves as members of once again, not just on this earth, but in this earth, is not a particularly nice place. It is not something sweet and sentimental. It is not a harmonious biosphere where the lion lays down with the lamb. No. Lions will eat sheep um, when they're hungry, but sometimes the lambs can sleep close by if the lions have been well fed for a couple nights. But the sheep know damn well that one of them is going to get eaten soon. You know, it is a world in which humans, too, if we are a part of it, it means recognizing that there are things out there that can eat us and will eat us. Whether they are large uh, mammals, not so much anymore, but, uh, but the kinds of diseases that are now beginning to spread uh, unchecked out of the specific small ecosystems that once harbored and held them in check the global spread of infectious diseases that is now accompanying climate change and that we are all susceptible to, not just disease, but simply allowing or identifying, as I've been suggesting, with our animal body means accepting that we are inside of something we cannot master. We're not in control of it. It's not that it's out of control, but it's out of our control. And hence we are vulnerable. And that is frightening, massively frightening, I think, to contemporary humans in particular. Because our whole civilization has been set up to give us the illusion that we are in control. The trouble is that in setting up this illusion, we have taken ourselves so much out of relation with the world that the world is, is beginning to choke. It's not just beginning to choke, it's beginning to vomit upon us and bite back with tremendous ferocity. And this earth, this breathing biosphere is not, uh, if we feel it as alive, which I would suggest it of course is, but it's not, uh, it's not a sweet mother nature. It's quite a wild witch of a being who sacrifices us very easily. Um, so to wake up within this world is to wake up in a deeply shadowed, uh, difficult, dangerous, and yet outrageously, awesomely beautiful world.